Hey guys, welcome to phase two of the Final Fantasy X event. A dream for Spira, where I answer the question. Should you draw on this banner? The answer is no. Unless you really, really, really want to beat the Torment Dungeon, I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's go through the relics. First is Lulu's Robes, which is actually a pretty decent relic. Adds a small boost to ice damage, which kind of follows through with her Super Soul Break, which we're about to see, actually. It's on this banner. Deal 10 magic, ice, fire, and water attacks to one target. Grant haste and burst most of the users, so it's missing lightning. But burst abilities deal 4 magic, ice, and fire attacks to one target. Second one, deal 4 magic, ice, and water attacks to one target. Quite a lot of nuking. Do I think it's pretty good? I reckon it's okay, depending on the situation. It's a pretty good mage one at the moment. Dual elements is okay, but... Yeah, it doesn't really outshine to me. Like, it doesn't boost up her stats in any way. So, it's kind of iffy in that sense. So, yeah, it's okay. The Blitz. This also makes a return, actually. Um, we already know this one, we've been over this one before. Dark attacks to random targets, and temporarily infuse the user with the power of dark. It's okay, depending if you also have dark in peril with, like, Kuja's BSP, it's awesome with this. And also, if you have his OSB already, it's fucking awesome with this. But, like I said, it, same situation with the first relic with Lulu's, it doesn't increase your stats in any way, it's just dark attacks. Like, if you compare it to Sid Reigns, of course, even though he's a magic user, it does raise his stats, make him extremely, extremely powerful, and you kind of have to look out for burst soul breaks, kind of like that, if you want to use it in the long run, too. Just the extra abilities really, really do help. Riku's Dagger. Of course, this is an Imperial Water, which you may actually be able to utilize in the Torment Dungeon. Definitely really useful with Titus's Burst Soul Break and his OSB. It's to random targets, 10 random targets, but you sh should be able to hit them all at m most times. I've been in situations with Kudja's Burst versus three enemies and it didn't actually hit all three. So pretty unlucky there. But anyway, first one is another additional dismissal to all targets. But it's a small chance, and the second one is lower its attack and defense a small amount, temporarily raise the user's attack and defense a small amount. So yeah, like I said, these additional stat boosts and stat reductions on the enemy really ends up being pretty useful. So Riku's Dagger is definitely one of the better burst soul breaks. Um, Chaos Rod, restore a large amount of HP to all allies, automatically heal additional damage taken for a short time, 2000 HP in total, it's okay, definitely really good if you need the additional heal, um, would I use it over a first soul break? Probably, but I really do like Major Region in a lot of situations too, because Major Region actually heals for quite a lot in the long run. Magician Smog, Magician Mog, sorry. 125 attacks adds a small boost to ice damage as well, and this one's the infuse with the power of ice, which is pretty good, along with a burst soul break, of course. Force Knuckles, you've probably seen me use this in the Torment Dungeon. I only used it like once, it wasn't so good because uh, the guy doesn't actually really use much physical attacks except for like punch and stuff, so it's okay, but the actual attack itself is Pretty damn good. Attack and resistance a large amount, and raise the user's attack a moderate amount and resistance a small amount, so it stacks with shout and all that, so it definitely makes Riku a really good attacker. Warriors Gloves. You know this well by now if you haven't seen my Torment battle with the Sid mission included. That was one hell of a battle. This pulled me through it, just having the Warriors Gloves, entrusting from Walker to Pain definitely made the difference. So even just with this one water relic, which I got from the, um, what was it called? Like celebration festival thing. Yeah, pushed me on, pushed me on top of the battle. Jets Bandana, deal four physical attacks to one target, high chance to interrupt pending actions. Eh, it's okay. Just depends if you need a dismissal, I guess, but I definitely wouldn't be using that attack very much. Especially if you have any of his other 
soul breaks. Titus' Strike, it's a follow-up to another ability if you want, but I wouldn't see this aging that well, to be honest. There would probably be better relics in the future. Alright. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did a 5 Mithril draw pretty... Well, I, I was going to say pretty recently, but it was yesterday. And I got Kamari's Twin Lance. Pretty stoked about that. Wasn't the best relic out of there, but... Definitely a really, really nice one. Holy so, crap. I'll put on the we side, um, if I remember. Probably won't remember, knowing my memory, but maybe I will. Alright, let's do the 100 gem draw. I thought, what the hell? A chance for Yuna's robes, because she's probably my favourite white mage, you know? And we are back to 3 stars, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, that kind of sucks, but eh? Kind of happy to get another relic, and I'll definitely use it in the next fight. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a good one, and peace out.